the 13th annual Monster Energy Ricky Carmichael Daytona Amateur Supercross RCSX returns to Daytona International Speedway for the biggest three-day amateur supercross event on the planet. RCSX on MAV-TV starts now. Hello and welcome to the 2022 Ricky Carmichael Amateur Supercross presented by Monster Energy here at the Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm Mikey Waynes and I'll be taking you through today's racing action. We begin with Schoolboy 1, 12 to 17 class. Our riders locked, loaded on the gate and ready to roll. Jockey for some position here and see who can get out front and grab the early lead in this one. Uh, some big names out there. Logan Best out there. Jude Smurlick, a couple heavy hitters. And, oh, things getting crazy. In turn number one as some riders get pushed out wide and off the track. And it is the 206. Let's see right there. Logan Best. Yeah, the 206 Yamaha ride uh, out in front in this one. Let's see what he can do. Still uh, sorting things out just behind him there. But, boy, how about it for the, uh, the start by Logan Best in this one. A great start. That's the number 90 right there. That is uh, Jude Smurlick. Excuse me. Jude Smurlick is on the number 90. Uh, KTM there in the number two spot. Let's see what he can do. We'll see what he's got in store for the 206 right here. Different line choices for our riders. And Logan Butt Best with a good drive right there. And he's going to stay out front. Little checkup from the neck up right there by Logan Best. Wants to make sure he knows where Jude Smurlick's at, but still doing a fantastic job racing the track. That's in front of him. Not too concerned about what uh, Smurlick's doing that back there in the two spot. We'll see what he's got for him. Logan Best right now hitting his marks and doing well leading this thing. Meanwhile, back there in the uh, third place position, at least fighting for it, the 254 Diesel Thomas, I uh, believe. Yes, Diesel Thomas in that number three position aboard that Husqvarna. See how long he can hold off uh, the fourth place rider right now. I believe in that uh, that is Dylan Blecka. It is Dylan Blecka. So Blecka actually uh, moves into the three spot, gets around the 524. So Blecka now into the number three position. Let's see what he can do. Uh, maybe catch up with uh, those two guys right there, Logan Bess and Smurlick in the one and two positions. There's Allen right there after a middle of the pack start. Starting to chip away at this one, get up in the fight. And different line choices for the riders again right there. Love this track. It is so unique. Uh, you guys see it on Supercross on Saturday night. Uh, it's it's this almost hybrid track, if you will, of, of Supercross meets Pro Moto. It's Ricky Carmichael's, uh, his baby. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. It's his baby with his input on, uh, on this track. And just a one-of-a-kind race, no doubt about it. And really cool that we get to go out here. Uh, on Monday and, uh, and Tuesday after the race weekend uh, after Supercross and the amateur riders get an opportunity to come out here and, dis and showcase and display their talents. And a man doing well with that right now is that 206 of Logan Best. Now with some separation between him and second place. And the number 90 there, Smurlick, might have some company in Blecka and Diesel Thomas right now in the three and four spot as they are really starting to inch up on Smurlick. We got a caution flag right here, so that'll have our riders uh, have to check up a little bit right here, but <laughs> real quick, we're right back off to it. Logan Best going high right there around the outside with a good drive, and boy, Logan Best just about, don't want to speak too soon, but just about flawless in this one. Has done a fantastic job out front hitting his marks and boy solid ride out of Smurlick as well but he still sits in that two spot and here comes Blecka. Blecka in the three position. Is he going to go? No he's going to stay. Same line choice right there as Smurlick. So he's still in that three spot but you got to think boy if Blecka wants to make something happen he's got to start working this track and looking for some opportunities here. Around the inside they go 
And there is Diesel Thomas there in the four spot in that, uh, or aboard that uh, Husk Varna machine. Trying to catch up with these guys. And there's a good sight, the 5'11", uh, or 5'14". Is it 5'11 or 5'14? What do you got? I don't think the jersey's matching the bike. That or my eyes aren't too good. But nonetheless, uh, hey, he's having a fantastic ride there in the three spot. It's 5'11 on the machine. Uh, that is uh, Blecka there in the three spot. Trying to catch up to the number 90 is Smurlick in that two position. Meanwhile, Logan Best, as he gets into a little bit of lap traffic right here, doing a good job getting around the lappers. And just, man, really needs to keep it on two wheels, keep hitting his marks, and should be able to bring this thing home for a checkered flag. Again, great ride, the number 90 of Smurlick in that two position. Every time Blecka's tried to make something happen, he shut the door on him. Just not wanting to allow him to get up into that two spot. But boy, great ride by uh, all three riders. Boy, as well as Diesel Thomas in the four spot. He's been right there with them as well on that Husqvarna machine. So here we go. There's a number 90 in the two position, the 5'11". Okay, it was my eyes. His jersey is the 5'11". Come on now. He's like, come on. Give me some credit here, man. Give me some credit. There you go. And here we are. Checkered flag flies. Bang. And it is Logan Best taking P1 here in the Schoolboy 1 class. What a ride by that young man. Congratulations in order, no doubt about it. Caught up with him after the race. Feels amazing. There's a lot of fast kids here. Same competition as the Loretta's, so uh, if we can win here, we can win anywhere. Well, again, a big congratulations to Logan Best on the P1. Jude Smerlick finishing in the number two spot and the 5'11", Dylan Blecka rounded out the top three. Hey, folks, stick around. We got more RCSX presented by Monster Energy here on MAV-TV coming up next. Welcome back to RCSX here on MAV TV. We got our 250B class locked and loaded on the gate, and here we go. Boy, grabbing the uh, early lead in this one. The 75 Rockstar Energy Husqvarna of Evan Ferry out in front to Axton Bennick in the number two spot on the number 241 KTM. And a good fight there for the third place position, but boy, what a great start by Red Dog. Evan Ferry out in front with a good drive right there as he leads away and already creating, well, I thought he was. <laughs> thought he was creating some separation right there, but no, Dax Bennick right there with him. And look how the lines have developed out there at uh, RCSX here. Well, again, can't say enough uh, about this race, obviously on the Supercross side of thing on Saturday nights and then coming back out for um, on uh, Monday and Tuesday to come out here at Ricky Carmichael and, and giving these youngsters an opportunity uh, to display their talents out here in front of us. Pretty cool to watch. So again, Evan Ferry, your leader out in front. Dax and Bennick in the number two spot. And I believe it's the 44 of Noah Smerden in the number three position. And the 71 of Ivan Aldama Jr. back in the number four spot. There is the 75 of Evan Ferry out in front. Dax and Bennick in the two position. Pretty similar line choices so far. Nobody really, uh, well, he's, he's working the track a little bit. Right there, Evan Ferry up into the berm a bit, but nothing too crazy. Still riding pretty flawless as both riders are. Let's see how our line choices develop here as uh, right there. Okay, Evan Ferry out in front. Smurden, uh, or excuse me, Dax and Bennett. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. Different line choices right there by both riders as Evan Ferry comes out, still out in front. And with a good drive right there, puts a little bit of a gap on Dax and Bennick. But boy, Bennick rebounds quickly, and he's still right there challenging Evan Ferry right now for the lead in this one. But boy, on those straights, man, Evan Ferry finding another gear, no doubt about it. Number 75, Evan Ferry's had some uh, success here today. And uh, boy, continuing right here. No doubt about that. Again, Dax and Bennick in that two spot. Noah Smurden back in the number three position. And the 71 of Ivan Aldama back in fourth. Last we saw, I think we'll get our eyes on those guys probably here in just a second. See how things are shaping up back there in the three position. But again, Evan Ferry just about flawless so far here in the 250B class. A stacked class to say the least with some heavy hitters. 
for sure in this one. Uh, Kristen Janik, another one of those heavy hitters. There is the 44 of Noah Smerdin, and there is the 71 Yamaha of Ivan Aldama. Right there in the 74 machine of Jackson Pascal back uh, rounding out your top five position. So uh, again, Evan Ferry out in front doing his thing, getting a good look at the rest of the pack right here. And seeing the line choices for the different riders out there. But uh, again, Evan Ferry doing his thing out front, leading the way in this one. And uh, Dax and Bennett trying to find an opportunity to create and uh, make a pass. See if we can get our leaders back on screen here. There they are. There we, now we're coming into the finish line. And no, no, this is Christian Janik. So this is Janik right here uh, battling with the, the 104. And the 104, that's Gregory Evans on the KTM. Janik around the outside. Oh, and down goes Christian Janik. So just when I was about to say, hey, with a good drive, can he get up there and get in the fight with the 104 of Gregory Evans? No, down goes Janik. And that is a tough break for Chris and Janik, who was rolling and was in the fight there with the 104. And we'll now have to sit back and, well, probably play spectator from here. A tough, tough break for Chris and Janik. And meanwhile, back out front, Evan Ferry and Daxon Bennett putting on a show now as they get end up, up into some lap traffic. We'll see how that plays out as these 250B riders uh, probably going to have to deal with a little bit more lap traffic than what we saw in the Schoolboy 1 class uh, as these guys absolutely rolling in that 250B class. And there we go. Evan Ferry out in front. Daxton Bennett in the two spot. Similar line choices right there. Bennett up into the berm a little bit, but again, nothing too crazy. Able to rebound quickly. And there is some of that lap traffic we were talking about. And the flaggers letting them know, hey, leader, leader, leader. Race going on out front. And uh, boy, things really developing. We should see our leaders on the back side of the screen here in just a second. Get our eyes on them. There they are. Here we go. There's a 75 heading into the finish line area. Daxton Bennick in tow. And again, that gives you a good idea of what we're looking at as far as this lap traffic here. Boy, this just might play a factor here. If, if, if Evan Ferry can get in a position where he can put a lapper in between them as they get into one of these turns, maybe force Daxton Bennick into uh, a position he doesn't want or a line choice that he doesn't want to take. As uh, Evan Ferry, though, not worried about it, man. Just racing the track that's right in front of him and just trying to bring this thing home. Meanwhile, Daxton Bennick is thinking, what have I got to do to get around this guy? Solid riding from both riders, putting it on display here at RCSX, no doubt. And Binnick, again, different line choices for both riders right there. And you can really see Binnick really digging, trying to get a good drive right there and, and get back up on that rear wheel of Evan Ferry, but don't think he's going to have enough to make it happen right there, no. So Evan Ferry's still out in front, and here we are into the lappers as Evan Ferry working his way around and shouldn't have any issues, but boy, certainly always kind of in the back of your head. Am I going to get stuck behind one of these guys? It's going to create an opportunity for Bennick. And here's what I was talking about. Okay, so there you go. There's a good example. Evan Ferry into the corner uh, and out as a lapper. Was in between him and Dax and Bennick. Now creates a little bit of separation. Bennick still kind of dealing with some lap traffic right there. So got to be kind of frustrating if you're Dax and Bennick. And if you're Evan Ferry, you're thinking, yeah, got in there and got out before it was a factor for me. Daxton, good luck, buddy. <laughs> Daxton does a, a solid job, though, sitting there in the two spot still. Just behind Evan Ferry. Can he make something happen here? Again, different line choices for the guys. And it is still Evan Ferry out in front. But, boy, it looks like Daxton Bennett picked it up a little bit. Got right up on that rear wheel. Both riders going kind of high right there. Working the track, a little inside, outside. But here comes Ferry. And he'll bring it home. Bang! Checkered flag flies. And it's a red dog. Evan Ferry aboard the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna. Taking P1. Daxton Bennett taking P2. And that man right there. Fist in the air, and rightfully so. Living it up here at Daytona. No doubt about that. We had a chance to uh, catch up and get a word in with uh, Evan Ferry after the race. Get his thoughts on what it's like running here at Ricky Carmichael's Super Amateur Supercross.
Yeah, you know, it's a super cool experience. You know, you get to come out here, you get to be in Daytona. And, uh, you know, the track's, you know, the track's awesome. It's really tough, really rough. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's super fun. You know, I just got the win there. Uh, I just rode my race from the start and uh, had a lot of fun. Well, again, Evan Ferry with the P1. Daxon Bennett hangs on for the second place position. And Noah Smirden rounds out your top three. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back with more RCSX here on MAV TV. And welcome back. We are ready now for the junior 25 plus class and locked and loaded down on the gate. Some big names out there. Mike Alessi leading the way. The number 800 uh, Honda with a good drive right there and a good early lead in this one. Uh, the 165 Husqvarna James Roberts there in the number uh, two spot. And it looked like the 293 of Michael Ash back there in third. I believe it is. Yes. But they things sorting themselves out here early in the junior 25 class and that class. And there goes Mike Alessi, and that is the 165 of James Roberts right there. And the 293 of Michael Ash on that Suzuki back in the three spot. So Mike Alessi, uh, man, I, you, he's going to be on a dirt bike racing uh, until he's well into his 80s. Mark my words. There's no doubt about it. The man just simply loves racing so cool to see him out here uh, this weekend and leading the way here for the junior 25 plus class as we get a look at the rest of the riders coming through right there good little example you can see in the back side of the screen there Alessi checking in with the lap completed out in front and uh, starting to pull away a little bit in this one we'll keep our eyes uh, on Mike Alessi out front but we'll try to pay some closer attention here to some of these battles Michael Ash gonna have his hands full here in a moment that 293 Suzuki machine right there in the number three spot. He's got some company. I think the uh, 77 machine, if I'm not mistaken, lower Sprangler uh, is the rider behind him. We'll keep our eyes on that. Was it the 77? Nonetheless, got eyes on Ash right there as he is moving through, trying to catch up with the 165. Of James Roberts in that two position. And that is the 322. Uh, that is Clouser right there, the 322. Let's see, can he overtake him? No! Good little battle right there with Ash, no doubt about that. So as we look here, get up on the face of that jump, really slows these guys down as they head out for another lap. And Michael Lessie again has pretty well tried to check out to Laterville in this one but we got our attention there on that battle for second and there we go the three two two uh of clouser moving ahead picking up a position that is the 77 of lower sprangler so sprangler gets around uh rider right there as well oh at least for a second good side by side battle with the two three eight the two three eight of ben robinson so forgive me that is ben robinson the two three eight right there in this battle with these guys. So Ben Robinson drops a couple of positions and the 77 low Sprangler on the move right now, battling with the 320, or 322 of Clouser. And we're side by side, different line choices. Oh, how about it? The 77 stands him up in the corner, gets on the inside, able to make a good clean pass, an aggressive pass, but nonetheless, a good clean pass right there. Oh, you got to love that. That is what it's all about. Now, what can he do with some open track in front of him? Catch up with uh, these guys and uh, get in the fight. It's the 604 right there battling with the uh, 328. Or excuse me, the 293 of Michael Ash. And let's see what he's got for him right here. The 604 machine trying to move into position to get up here and battle with Ash. That is Logan McConnell. Logan McConnell, patient back there right now, looking for opportunity. Both riders around the outside. And McConnell on that gas gas ride, trying to catch up with the Suzuki ride. 
of Michael Ash, that 293 machine. This is where the battle's at on the track right now. So Ash still out in front with a good drive right there. And McConnell trying to keep pace, looking for an opportunity, working the track right now. Both riders going to the inside here. And there we go, McConnell now inching closer right up on that rear wheel at times. And Ash certainly can feel the pressure riding with more of a sense of urgency now as he goes on the inside again, as does McConnell. And here we go. Almost wheel to wheel with Ash and McConnell duking it out for position. Let's see what Ash has got for him. Ash done a pretty good job so far. Shutting the door on McConnell has not given him uh, the opportunity to get up and show him that front wheel yet, at least to this point. Let's see if McConnell's gonna be willing to risk it. Ash moving, moving well. Around the outside again, as is McConnell. Riders basically mirroring each other at this point. Meanwhile, again, Michael Lessie out in front in this one has pretty well checked out as we get into a little bit of lap traffic. Is that going to play a factor? I'm gonna guess not for you. Plus. Well, and then I say that <laughs> right here as uh, get around some lappers. No problem for Ash, no problem for McConnell right there as they go on the inside again and move it. On the back side of the track right here in Ash on the inside, McConnell dips down. Oh, little misstep right there by McConnell, but able to recover quickly as he is still. I mean, this is about uh, as, as carbon copy as it gets here. In position, there is the 604. Logan McConnell moving. Michael Ash still in the number two spot. And the 165. I'm sorry, the 165, excuse me, James Roberts in the number two spot. This is the battle for third, excuse me. So the battle for third again, Michael uh, Ash and Logan McConnell on screen. McConnell still.